Okay, guys, before we get into the video, uh, we're going to go on tour. Yep, I'm going on tour, and Nick is my drummer, and it's fun. We're going to be playing some Dev Lemons stuff. Yeah. It's going to be great. So if you want to see us do, just do some crazy stuff or something, want to see Jordana rip it up on the stage with a yeah. guitar and a voice or something, a band and stuff or something, go to the tour. It's fun. We're going to have some lots of fun. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Uh. It's Friday. Uh. It's Friday. Uh. I wanted to dive into something I keep seeing on my For You page just everywhere. I can't stop seeing it, and I just I just want to talk about it. So I figured, why not bring in um, my, my, my Christian, <laughs> Christian, well, he's not anymore, like, consultant and dear lover. <laughs> you know, I was actually in the music video for the Christian parody of Friday, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, gotta get no done. No way, there's a <laughs> Friday parody called Sunday. 5.5 .5 million views? What? No, you're not. I think that's me. <gasps> no way. Is it? Christian parodies, they're nothing new. They've been around. They're a tale as old as time, okay? But I keep seeing them on TikTok, and I keep seeing this phenomenon of people being like, oh, I can't listen to music as a Christian. There's no music out there anymore. All of it is it sucks. Which is an issue that I had when I was when I was younger. <laughs> I would listen to this secular music, and I would constantly be like, I, you know, I never felt like the need to listen to a Christian parody yeah. of those songs, but I would start listening to Christian worship music, like while I'm showering and stuff. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on <laughs> and on. I'm no f stranger to religion either. I went to Catholic school my entire life growing up actually, until college, so I know a thing or two about that. And this isn't to say <laughs> that, you know, all Christian music is bad or cringe. One of our favorite bands is a Christian band. Oh yeah. I mean, they're Christians in a in a band. I don't know. It's just, it's fascinating. I didn't realize this was like an issue because I never, even after going to Catholic school and all that, I'd never really stumbled upon anyone who had this issue. Is it really anti-Christian to listen to songs that say like I would rather go to hell than this thing if the point of the verse is to explain that like hell is supposed to be a bad place it's not like it's not like so are there like people so, that are fixing this issue yeah there's a lot of people fixing this issue actually the same I think this is the same girl that we just saw yes oh my god <laughs> yeah I said what I said. I'm making famous instead. Won't let all that get to my head. So you're not scared of the devil. The know. devil doesn't make you flinch. Is that. I thought you were supposed to be scared of the devil, though. Isn't no, that you're the supposed point? to be scared of God. You're supposed to be a God fearing person. But the. But he's good, right? That's like the point. Yeah, but you gotta fear God because he it gave you, you have to recognize the power that he holds. God, you have to be a God-fearing woman. <laughs> That's a thing. I love this. The other is so catchy, I think, because the devil is trying too hard to make us slip, slip up. Unholy by Sam Smith is the same. It's so catchy. But the devil, he's trying to get you to sing these songs because if you sing these songs, you're going straight to hell. So instead of just not singing them, let's listen to a Christian remix <laughs> of that song. I just sinned again, but I'm so thankful that you died and that you rose again. You love your grace, your mercy, you know it's so evident. Me and the spirit. Why they oh, I get it. I was like, at first I was like, wait, so why did they need to make a Christian remix of this song? They didn't say anything bad in it, but then the the opening line is. About, Hello, about Christ. I just sinned. I'm about to sin, about again. To sin again. I just saw ice rice on the timeline. Had to call my wife and apologize to her for my so mind. Me. Taking thoughts captive, so I chilled out on the screen time. Running to my baby in the Bible. Full version? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> How did they? The, I feel like the only. 
only part of the song that was like, ooh, you can't listen to this if you're Christian, was like about her about to sin. But this guy, I mean, arguably, isn't this worse? Like, he yeah. already did the sin. He already did that. But also, I think the point maybe is that she sin- She said she sinned again, but she didn't repent about the sin. She just kept talking about other bull crap. This guy needs to actually talk about what he's thankful for. He needs to do the soap method, which is... <laughs> Um, so S is for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. I think this is more for, like, journaling. How have I never heard about, like, any of this stuff? Because you didn't actually F with it. But I... (laughs) You just cosplayed it in a school, but you didn't Mm. actually... You weren't actually hard about it in your head. You weren't really fearing God enough, I think. Yeah, I definitely didn't fear God enough. I definitely didn't feel like I'm not. <laughs> okay, what is this about? Oh, oh, What's man. wrong with boys alive? He says I ain't good enough, talking like this. Says I did things that I shouldn't have. So I tell him God loves me, but he making fun of me. Saying God's grace could not cover me. I think the devil is cat. Trying to be smooth, but I know where he's at. Like that devil's a liar. <laughs> yeah, he's a liar. Like cat is catching fire. Like cat is catching fire. So won't let him get to my head. I'll be chilling with Jesus instead. <laughs> It's a completely different beat too. Like what? It's like a completely like a da baby beat. <laughs> this is literally like Minecraft parodies for adults. I know. This is literally. I was gonna That's say. This is. Thing. I've never seen one grow to this kind of size. There hasn't been the phenomenon like this since the Minecraft days. I was born to flex. Ooh. Jesus with this bread. Yeah, I got a cross up on my neck, but I show him my respect. What's up guys, Hannah here. So about three months ago, I was pumped up to release a song that I had written, but I'm already with Jesus instead. Do these people also think that like, the only thing that causes that song to be ungodly is that the person is saying those words and just another person can just fill the space and all of a sudden it's up to the same quality but christian i don't get the point of this one pretty girls walk with him <laughs> no. uh-uh. pretty girls walk like solid me sit in proper 31 she got what's up guys hannah here so about three months ago proper 31 she got <laughs> jesus on the night and she's living for the sign don't care if the world don't like me is the song itself even anti-christian i don't think so Ow. <laughs> Look, see, even this is already a Christian song. Yeah, she says on God. See, loyalty. The song talks about loyalty. That's I, like I monogamy. I, I mean, it would be nice if the, uh, we, we reached out to a Christian audience and, you know, got the attention of some people who maybe wouldn't have listened to Queef Jerky before because sometimes it can be not God-fearing enough. Yeah, I actually think there is some value in that. In reality, I got a lot of prayer time. In reality, I'm sponsored by my local church, so I got a lot of holy water. <laughs> and I'm sponsored by my pastor to go on a mission trip, so I gotta pay for the mission trip. <laughs> Don't flip the cross upside down, yeah. In the water, I'm getting baptized. At the service, I won't worship Satan. And I would rather pray for our Savior, Jesus. I pray to him, so he will free us. And I'm really happy with born on Christmas. Hopefully, grant me on my wishes. I am happy that he's risen. Reconciliation is boring. I'd rather get confirmation. Um, I went. I think maybe if people feel like they don't want to listen to ungodly music, they should listen to Christian artists who just write good original songs. Yeah. Because you can find the Christian version, and trust me, it's never going to like live up to that thing that you want it to be in secular music because it's like you're trying to base it off of that and create something that it's like the opposite point of the song or whatever i don't know you're trying to craft a different narrative for what the song should be about and it's going to be hard to actually live up to the quality you're going to get from the original song so the best thing you can do is try to make original art out of it and I don't know, listen to that if you're a Christian and you feel bad about listening to secular music. If you feel weird about consuming and even enjoying art that might not specifically be geared towards God-fearing people, I don't know, I feel like you could say that about TV shows that Christians watch and art that they look at and video games they play and and goddamn it movies that they watch. Sorry, I didn't mean to... <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh, sorry, it's okay, sorry. What do you think? I think, you know, it's like just because it's not a song explicitly about 
loving God doesn't make it ungodly. I agree. I think, you know, there's plenty of Christian people out there who make music that's not always about, like, God, but music's really good, and you can, there's plenty of them out there. It's like, oh, pop music is demonic. It's not really. If pop music's like, demonic, it's all, it's all demonic. <laughs> Every genre is demonic, except for Christian music. You don't have to go into listening to music with the idea that you need to avoid devilish lyrics at all costs. I think you just need to go into it knowing, hey, I'm a God-fearing person, and I'm interested to learn about other cultures. That doesn't necessarily mean I co-sign every single thing that I listen to. I hear people rap about heinous things. That doesn't mean that I co-sign those heinous things. It means that they're interpreting their life in a certain way through their music, and I can enjoy that in my own fucked up way. Yeah, guys, I think it's fine. Just, like, listen to it and be like, oh, man, like, I, like, just don't sing the parts about hell or something like don't sing the demon parts or something you don't have to say the words you don't have to say all the words okay yeah i think the killers are christian yeah go listen to killers go listen to half alive go listen there's a bunch of them and there's nothing wrong with being christian just i don't know don't be weird about it i guess yeah listen to 21 pilots all right guys thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it please hit that subscribe button down below up on the screen you can see some other videos from the dev limes channel and thank you to Green is not Nick, Nick is not green for joining me today in today's video. And what, you're gonna cut me off? Oh, are you? Nice. <laughs>